Have you ever wanted to get rid of these little icons right up here, such as the chat and all these other things right here? Well, I have, and I'm going to show you how you can get rid of these. It's really useful for things like loading screens and other things among that sort. So let's get right to work. I'm going to click on this stop button. Now let's go right over here to starter player. You can do starter GUI, starter player, replicated first, starter player scripts. The list goes on anywhere the local script will run. You can go ahead and run this code. I'm personally going to do starter character scripts. Let's click on the plus icon and insert a local script. This local script, let's go ahead and rename to disable core GUI, which I'm going to be explaining what the core GUI is a little later. But right now for up here at the top of our script, let me zoom in a little bit. We're going to start off by getting the starter GUI service, which will be equal to game get service starter GUI. If you don't know what GUI stands for, graphical user interface, some people call it GUI, some people call it GUI. I've personally never called it GUI in my life because I really don't like that word for some reason. It just sounds very weird to say. Say it a few times right now and you'll realize why most of us say GUI instead of GUI. But anyways, continue on with our script. Starter GUI has a few different functions that we can use to remove something called the core GUI. If you don't know what the core GUI is, the core GUI are the main core aspects of our GUI. These are things such as the player list. These are the health bar. This is the chat area, chat tag. Well, I don't really know what the chat area itself is. Probably just the chat box, I should say. But you get a, an idea. It's all these different core GUI aspects inside of our game. So down here, let's say starter GUI, colon. We're going to do set core GUI enabled. And here's where you can provide a core GUI type that you want to disable or enable given the circumstance. So we're going to say enum dot core GUI type dot and you can see all the different types of core GUI there are. As you can see, there's the backpack, the health bar, the player list, the chat, the captures, the self view emotes menu. These are the core GUI types. You can even do all, which if you do all and then put a comma down to separate these two different arguments and then put a Boolean value of either false or true true or false I should say and this is going to go ahead and set that GUI enabled status to either true or false so for me if I want to set all the GUI to true I would do true however if I want to disable everything I would say false let's set everything to false and then click on play now whenever we go ahead and do this you'll realize how much different my screen looks as there's no player list over here the health bar really only shows up when you're injured, so it's not going to show up right now. However, if I go over here to the server, click on my character, go down to the humanoid, and change my health down to about 30 or so, go back over here to the client, you'll notice that my health still isn't there, even though I am technically injured. You'll notice if I try and open up the chat, that won't work either. I can't open up my backpack. I can't open up any of these other things over here. Well, except for that one, because I guess that one is a classic button. But you'll notice that for most of the GUI, I cannot open it. Except for the, like, principal GUI types that you just can't get rid of anyways. So let's click on Stop. And that's how we can disable core GUI types. Now, you can just do specific ones, like, well, let's not get rid of the health bar. Let's just get rid of the chat for now. Let's say we want to get rid of that. Let's click on Play. I'll see that I just simply can't chat. However, I do have the player list and that health bar that I was talking about earlier. Let me go ahead and damage myself real quick. Let's just change the health down to about 30. And you can see that my health bar is over here on the left and is slowly regaining over here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's how we can go ahead and get rid of all the starter core GUI if we would like to. Now, this isn't a way to get rid of all the GUI on your screen if you have certain, like, I don't know, stat GUI on the side here to display how many stats you have, or maybe a pet GUI or whatever. It's not going to get rid of that GUI. You can just set enable defaults on those. It's a property. 
However, for the core GUI, you need to actually set it to disabled or not. I thought this was a pretty cool concept to share with you guys. So please make sure you use it, learn from it, whatever you're going to do with it. Please make sure you do that to the best of your ability. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.